You're watching Talk News TV with Herman T. Laurel and uh, the uh, topic, Twisted Arm. And uh, in the first half, uh, we concluded that uh, the um, people of the regions involved in the arm issue and the arm elections have a predominant sentiment uh, that calls for the uh, application of the law and the holding of the elections as scheduled by the law. Uh, my impression is uh, clearly Malacanang had been railroading this, uh, pushing uh, its uh, will uh, against the people's will. But l before I conclude that it is uh, railroaded, let's, uh, let's look at the constitutionality. Does Malacanang have a leg to stand on in its insistence to postpone uh, the elections in arm, as well as now the legislature, because they have sided with the uh, Malacanang's desire uh, to postpone this? Uh, who would volunteer to start it off? Well, I'm not a lawyer, but uh, I think uh, June can take on after I say a few yes, words yes, about uh, this, no? Mm -hmm. uh, under the Organic Act, mm -hmm. the only role of the president mm -hmm. is general supervision, mm -hmm. not control. Mm -hmm. So if you go into an appointment of OIS, that is control. Mm -hmm. I, I also have to add that I read the uh, former Comelec uh, Commissioner Sadain's uh, mm -hmm. view of this, and he says that uh, postponement can only be legal if it is approved by the people plebiscite, of uh, plebiscite. Uh, arm in a uh, plebiscite, plebiscite yeah. uh, and ratified by the people. Uh, so that's another view. Uh, how about you, June? What uh, have you read up on this? So, unang-una, ano ba yung Organic Act? Ano? Nagkaroon kasi ng 1987 Constitution. Ito yung tinatawag natin Cori Constitution na nakasulat doon na magkikreate tayo ng autonomous region. So ito kayo na naging Organic Act. Mm. Ang ibig sabihin nito, ito ay one notch higher than an ordinary republic act. Mm -hmm. Dahil kung anong sinesertify ng presidente as urgent, presidente lang ang nagsesertify niyan. Mm -hmm. Ito, konstitusyon na nagsabi. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, maluwanag sa organic act, tulad na sinabi ni ex-commissioner uh, yeah, sa Dain, na may proseso yun eh. Kaya pinakalagaan nila na hindi mo pwedeng basta-basta baguhin. Ano? Kung gusto mong baguhin, kama itong ginagawa nila nito, na kakasalain nila eleksyon, kailangan magkaroon ng plebisito. So, yung pati yung plebisito, kinakansila nila eh. Mm -hmm. So, ito kayo ang pag-uusapan sa Korte Suprema. Sana mabukas yung mata, mga isipan ng ating mga maestrado na makinig po dyan. Eh. Ngayon, bukod po rito ay, ang sinabi naman ni Speaker Belmonte kay, kay Congressman Tupay Loob, mm -hmm. hindi, madalas na naman pinapospon yan eh. Mm -hmm. Ba't ngayon meron ka ng reklamo? Sagot naman si Congressman Loob, eh dati wala ko rito eh. Ngayon ako, andito ako, nagre-reklamo ako. No? I'm invoking this... Uh, yeah. This provision, no? uh, from what I recall of Sadain's uh, paper on this, uh, which I read up on the internet, there have been two previous uh, postponements. One uh, was uh, happened by default. I, I think uh, I, I'm not sure, uh, but the second uh, one was uh, nobody, simply nobody uh, brought it up to the courts. Eh. That's right. Uh, oh. sabi ni Sadain, no? In fact, pati to pet nito, according to the organic act, the election should be held in the second Sunday of September. Mm -hmm. Kaya to August 8. Uh, pagbabago na naman ito eh. Mm. Na kailangan din ang plebisito para gawin yan. Ano? Ngayon, uh, bukod dyan ay maliwanag din sa, o, sa Organic Act na gagawa ng dalawang bodies, yung executive at saka legislative, itong autonomous government na ito. And yung uupo dyan will be elected, hindi appointed. So maliwanag na elected eh. Ngayon, maliwanag din na kung saka sa kanilang mapupuspon, i-hold over yung nakaupo. Eh, Sino yung hold over nila ngayon? Dahil may problema, dahil maliwanag doon sa sulat ni Secretary Robredo kay Senator Bongbong, ang dahilan kung bakit gusto nilang kasalahin o ipospon is uh, corruption is so rampant mm -hmm. in the ARMM. Ano? E, pag nagkaganon, nagkaroon ng hold over, anong binabago natin? Dahil pareho din. Ano? Ngayon bukod po dyan, ay nais ko sana sabihin na kung may problema po yung mga driver, dahil sinasabi nga lang may corruption, e eh, bata palitan mo yung kotse, palitan mo yung driver. Kanya nga may eleksyon eh. Mm -hmm. Kaya hindi lang naman po sa Mindanao po yan, sa buong Pilipinas po yan eh. Kung talagang meron tayong regular na eleksyon, kung talagang napakasama na, eh palitan. Hindi yung kakasalahin mo, tapos mag-a-appoint ka na OIC. So basically, yan ang pag-uusapan. So yung ina-argue ng Malacanang is they want to reform it, they want to clean it up first before holding the election. Another thing dito, siguro, sisigundahan ako rito ni Governor Tila, eh, ang nagiging problema po kasi yan, ang gobyerno kasi parang tao yan eh. Pag meron, may problema yung kidney o kaya yung liver, eh kailangan ayusin mo yan, kundi makamatay yung tao. 
Alam niyo po kasi sa ARNM, eh, meron po tayong commission on audit, kaya lang wala pong auditing. No, pati audits. Mm -hmm. Meron po tayong commission on elections, kaya lang, bumaboto yung hindi tao eh. Mm -hmm. ano? Basta may boto. Yung sisiruhin nila lahat. Ang ibig sabihin natin, meron pong dalawang commission that are not working. Eh kahit na po sa Quezon City, where I, I come from, eh tanggalin niyo po yung auditor, eh talagang grabe yung nakawan. Mm -hmm. ano? Tanggalin niyo po yung COMELEC, eh talagang magiging grabe yung dayaan. Eh this is happening in Mindanao. So sinasabi ko, yun ang baguhin. Mm -hmm. yung, yung COMELEC at saka yung auditor. So, yung mga tao ng COMELEC at ng COA doon at sa region yun. Eh no, hey, kung ang sabihin nila eh, Uh, which I often hear, mm. eh, natatakot kasi yung mga Patuan, chief no? na na-assign o yung COMELEC yeah. chief na na-assign. Pero no? talaga pinapatay naman talaga eh. Mm -hmm. ano? Kaya nag, ay may the recommendation na in the same way na in areas na hindi nakakapunta yung private contractor to be the school or the bridge, meron tayong Army Engineering Battalion eh. Mm -hmm. And they use, masama mo ng isang battalion yung auditor, mm -hmm. eh tapos na. Mm -hmm. ano? Ang importante lang naman eh, kung meron school building ni tatayo, kaya na makakita ng school building, hindi makakita ng damuhan. Mm -hmm. Tapos, bantayin naman yung audit yun eh. Ba -ba Babantayin lang nilang mabuti. No? Kaya lang, that is now what's up. Ang nagiging problema natin, inu-audit ngayon lahat yung mga alkalde. Inu-audit lahat yung mga gobernador. At tinatakot sila ngayon. Na tutuluyan namin ito, ikukulong namin kayo, kapag hindi kayo bumoto rito sa postponement. Mm -hmm. So, eh, masyadong gara pala na ito eh. That this is a, ang pababastos na ng demokrasya ito eh. Okay. Well, uh, lumilinaw na talagang ito, eh, this is being rammed through. But uh, can they ram this through the Supreme Court uh, with the legal basis uh, uh, clearly there? Uh, but uh, at the same time, as we often hear in many other cases brought to the Supreme Court, there are already rumors and leaks about uh, what the concluding uh, uh, judgment will be. Uh, uh, should we discuss that now? Uh, Or later, the Supreme Court later. later, no? later. Uh, so my question now is, why are they railroading this? There are two views: uh, one, uh, local uh, reasons, uh, Philippine reasons, and the other is even more uh, uh, complicated and complex: the geopolitical uh, uh, background. No, uh, but uh, sa local uh, uh, angle, uh, Governor, you were saying that uh, you think it's just. Uh, local Philippine politics ang uh, nasa likod nitong railroading. Well, so far as I can see it mm -hmm. uh, from where I yes. am. Yes. So. Who, who is behind yes. this? But before that, uh, Mentong, yes. it is the national politicians mm -hmm. that have created um, as the cheating field of the mm -hmm. country. Ah, okay. They send yeah, their yeah. satellites every mm -hmm. election mm -hmm. from Manila, elsewhere, mm -hmm. and do their thing. Mm -hmm. So, hindi naman fair and just sa amin, mga Muslims and our people. Money laundering ng Manila. Money laundering. Eh, paano yung money laundering? Well, alam ni Junior. It goes to the south and then goes back, the back door? It's a ghost project. Ah, ghost project. Coming from the Manila. Manila. Madam, kapatid na doon ng 100 million, alam nila walang auditing doon. So, the 70 million goes back to Manila. Pero may usapan doon. May usapan. Oo. This is money laundering. In fact, one of the governors was interviewed in, Kong, in the Senate. Ano? Mm. Sinabi sa kanya, what did you do with the 27 billion that we gave you? Mm. That's a lie. Mm. They only gave me 13. Uh, this is Norm Isuarian. Oh, eh, pa pa oh. niya, di ba? <laughs> so, money And, laundering. Uh, ang presidente noon, si Ramos. Oh, Tama ba? Oh. Tama ito siya sabi ni Governor Al. Eh, ba't natin bibintang ngayon doon? <laughs> <laughs> tayo pala ang mastermind. Well, both sides siguro. Noor should have said. Uh, and uh, I don't hold back any names here in this discussion. Uh, and that's what I recall because he, it is also a public event when he said that. No should have at that point in time said FBR is uh, is uh, already taking a portion of this budget for us. Kaya from hindsight he cannot be blamed. Since he did not, he can. They, they have to share the blame. Uh, I know No is a classmate or uh, no, it was schoolmate. My senior, uh, senior, so senior, yeah, yeah. senior, no. Uh, and uh, you're very close to him. You still yeah, can. You used to Talis see him advisor. when he was in jail. Yeah. Uh, so. But uh, maybe you can convey that to Noor na, you know, it could have been look better for Noor if uh, yeah. he at the onset. It's like yeah. Angie Reyes. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Di ba? Mm. I stepped into corruption. Maybe you no. can invite him in uh, another show. Yeah, okay. Uh, through you. Uh, no? uh, and, uh, uh, it would be an interesting but, but let me go to the domestic yes, yes. Uh, you know, analysis I have of this issue. Um, actually, it caught us by surprise mm -hmm. that all of a sudden the elections here 
it's cancelled. Mm -hmm. So uh, we tried to analyze this, and a group of scholars, uh, political analysts, were with me analyzing this. So we ended uh, with uh, the analysis that uh, lock, stock, and barrel, this administration, Malacan, would want to control the five provinces. Mm -hmm. First with their OICs mm -hmm. for two years, and when election comes, and there was a deception here. Mm -hmm. Earlier they said that after two years, those appointed cannot run. Mm -hmm. But in the law now, the bill, pay the tatakbo. Deception. <laughs> now, yeah, now, that's one. And second, the, according to uh, my sources in the lower house, the purse, no? uh, ARM gets 11 billion a year budget. Mm -hmm. So in two years, that's 22 billion war chest. Mm -hmm. With the OICs, Without Maskin, oh yeah, and with the, with the OICs, maskin yung mayor tatakbo doon, governor, congressman, how much more the 12 senators running, dihado yeah. talaga. Mm -hmm. If you are not in the lineup of this administration, the Senate, mm -hmm. and I want now this, those who intend to run in 2013, they have to be with us here. Mm -hmm. Because to safeguard that uh, eventuality, no? Uh, lock, stock, and barrel, as I said, OICs, and the 22 billion watches mm -hmm. will be utilized for the 2013 mm -hmm. elections. And a long shot, but still not remote, Noyne will finish his term by 2016. Mm -hmm. So whosoever Malacanang wants to succeed, and they may want to succeed and perpetuate themselves, will have the 12 senators mm -hmm. with them, mm -hmm. the OICs becoming mayors, governors, congressmen, for that matter, in that uh, assembly of the RMM. Okay. And even in the National Congress, the lower house. Because simultaneously, eh? Yes, yes. So, well, I, the term that oh. comes into my mind after hearing that is insidious. Insidious. That's insidious the right talaga, word. Insidious talaga, no? Yung ginawa ka ng batas. Yung mga OIC appoint in consultation with the, with the Senate people. and the mm. Congressmen. Oh, wala na yan. 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 So, huh? ano? So, yeah, they can even the run. The, yun, the senators eh? oppose the, this. Bag, bagi yung mm. i-appoint, Gumawa sila ng committee mm. na mamimili ng OIC. Mm. Kasama po yung senador sa kayong congressman. Mm. So, uh, the, road, uh, the road to uh, heaven or hell mm. is supposed to be matuwid. Uh, yeah. This seems to be zigzagging so much. Uh, and I, underground uh, yeah. pa yung road. I, I, I still think up to this point in time that the president, mm -hmm. uh, President Noy Noy, is ill-advised okay. now. Uh, ang mahirap dito, hindi makita natin who are behind mm -hmm. this decision, you know, canceling the elections. The only ones we see in the front lines, in the field, moving around is Robredo of the LG, uh, Deles of the Peace Process, and uh, Llamas, uh, who is a political, I think, advisor uh, of well, the president. Well, these three, uh, I noticed that they are part of the NGO community. Yeah, but this is a very important uh, mention, if I may continue yes, yes. with this. Continue. Oh. During the, the, the lower house hearing in Batasan, where I was, all these key guys of the of Malacanang were there. Mm. This is supposed to be a hearing, congressional hearing, mm -hmm. to listen to the sense of the mm -hmm. people of ARM represented here and resource persons. Mm -hmm. And this was done in Cotabato, in uh, Marawi, and in Sambuanga. Mm -hmm. They were older and they were given all the time to campaign. It was not for them just to be listened uh, to for a few minutes. The local people were not given enough time even to articulate their views. I was there and uh, we were given only three minutes each. No? But uh, even with that uh, three minutes, kinukuha nila pa yung minuto namin. That's what happened. So that's I, what I think uh, what happened here was a complete reloading of the entire process from hearing in the lower house in all the three mm -hmm. areas, but not the Senate. The only decent hearing uh, conducted by this government is the Senate hearing, and I, uh, I want to publicly acknowledge uh, our thank and gratitude to uh, Senator uh, Bongbong Marcos, yes. uh -huh. uh, who really stood his ground, so with Jesus Codero and Mig Subir, they were the three okay. uh, architects of really trying to find out the sense of the people, mm -hmm. what the people really want, what they think. And they were able to capsulize that in the committee report. But unfortunately, the committee report of the Senate mm -hmm. was for uh, election. Right. But the plenary decided otherwise uh -huh. in a vote of 13 
to what, seven. What changed their mind? Do we well, have any idea? <laughs> well, we had to ask uh, <laughs> some of the senators. Most people think it's a pork barrel. Uh, it could be. It could be many well, things. We had to ask them. Oh, we had to okay. ask them. Uh, the three men names you mentioned, Robredo, Deles, Llamas. Deles and Llamas are clearly from the NGO community. And I don't really think them as non-governmental organizations anymore, but neo-governmental organizations. I'm writing something about this. What's more interesting here, not one of them is from Mindanao. Okay. Oh. Not Muslims and not even from Mindanao. Mm. So how can they effectively they advise? Experts. Huh? They all experts. experts of Mindanao. Yeah. How come? They how, claim how come? to be experts. How come? Uh, uh, Robredo is always praised by USAID and uh, all these uh, uh, foreign agents. Maybe he's a student of the United States. Well, that's where John Simon will, I will listen will, uh, to you uh, about to, international. Uh, uh, add to our knowledge. But um, uh, I call these uh, people neo-governmental uh, organizations, not non-government anymore. Because you can see the record of the past two decades. They really get into government. Yes. Uh, yes. No? And they extract resources from government, like the code NGO peace bonds, mm -hmm. and now the CCT, uh, which supports their organizations mm -hmm. that they claim is, oh, we're clean. We're not government, that's why we're clean. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're really worse. Uh, no? They're really stealing from government mm -hmm. for their do-gooder uh, <coughs> projects uh, no? in the private sector. But that's another matter. But it's a very important development in Philippine uh, uh, social institutions. No? And uh, I, st I think this is the fifth column uh, that uh, mm. has participated in the subversion of our uh, formal government. Anyway, Jun, uh, I learned this from you, that uh, it's probably the uh, Americans uh, and their interest in the uh, MOA AD. Uh, and I learned this from you too, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, the natural uh, rival or competitor to the MILF, who is involved in the MOA AD, are the elected politicians. Uh, uh, we discussed this earlier, Al, uh, and uh, there may be some um, uh, finer points here, but we have our next 10 minutes, our last 10 minutes. Uh, uh, but this angle, uh, you ca can you help us uh, elucidate this, uh, John? Una, ano ba yung memorandum of agreement on the CSF domain? Ano? Na naudut lamang. Mm. Remember, uh, they were going to sign this on a Tuesday. The Supreme Court came up with a decision and restraining it, calling it unconstitutional on a Monday, mm -hmm. one day before. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Secretary Romulo, we're already in Kuala Lumpur, they did to sign it. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, witnesses to the si sign uh, yeah. signing are the U.S. Embassy? U.S. Embassy, or it's uh, uh, British uh, Embassy. And then, yes. the, I learned this document was already initialed. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. The initial na, di ba? Initial. So, in fact, mayroon nga tayong problema dyan, tumatahimik lang tayo. Mm -hmm. There is, is there such a thing as attempted treason? Mm -hmm. The initial na na eh. Initial. Mm -hmm. So, treason is treason. That's no? right, no. Anyway, Tumigil na ba? Because, dahil nung matapos ba yan, yung bang managtano nito, ito memorandum of agreement ng Cecil Domain, ay tumigil na rin ba yung kanilang aspirations? Ano? Kaya mahaba lang kasi. Ano, hmm. Kaya lang, ano ba itong memorandum of agreement ng Cecil Domain? Sometime December 2002, si Hasim Salamat, the chairman of the MILF, wrote a letter Bush. addressed to George Bush na sinasabi niya, among others, na tulungan sila na magkaroon na Autonomy or independence. Mm -hmm. Independence, actually, kung si Hashim yan, eh, no? Oh. Bakit? Sapagkat, they were never part of the Treaty of Paris. Mm -hmm. Ano ba itong Treaty of Paris? This was the Treaty of December 10, 1898, that ceded the, the Philippines from Spain to America for $20 million. Ang kanya sinasabi, eh, we were never part of the... Treaty of Paris. The Treaty of Paris. They were never conquered by Spain. Mm -hmm. So, sometime February, <coughs> sumagot naman si Condoleezza Rice by calling then uh, Secretary of Foreign... Secretary Bert Romulo, telling Bert Romulo, si Condoleezza Rice was the Secretary of State ng America, na makikilang mga Amerika dito sa issue na ito through the United States Institute of Peace. Mm -hmm. Na ang chairman ng pangalan ay Robinson West. Mm -hmm. So nakilang sila for four or five years, umiikot sila rito, allegedly consulting everybody, kaya lang secret. Okay. Ano? Wala sila sinasabi kung anong ginagawa nila na inuluto nila. No? Nagkataon lang na bigla naman bastong bawa on a sexual yes. domain. Ito mawa na CSN domain ay will be actually creating a separate Philippines. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yun na mangyayari. Anyway, naudot nga yun because we'll be giving, we'll be giving out... Uh, yeah, you have to fast forward. We have anyway, three minutes left. So, ang sinasabi lang natin ay si Robinson West, who is the chairman of the USIP, United States Institute of Peace, is also the chairman of PFC Energy Consulting, mm -hmm. the largest energy consulting firm in the world. world. Meaning uh, oil, oil, natural gas, and ano, so on. So, langis ba o peace mm -hmm. ang pinag-usapan? Mm -hmm. 
Ngayon, eh, recently, bang matapos yung 2010 elections, siguro yung mga pagkalaro yun, the president din, ay dalawang beses nagpunta sa Tawi-Tawi. Yeah. Bakit? Nakakuha sila ng oil sa Tawi-Tawi. Alam na, 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 positive na eh. Yes. So, how will the appointment of OICs and all these help in that interest of the U.S. with uh, their allies sa uh, in, kasi, in Mindanao? Dalawang interest para sa akin eh. Base, mm -hmm. base, uh, military bases, mm -hmm. which is unconstitutional, mm -hmm. na nakakaproblema lagi dito sa Manila. Okay. Ano? At saka yung langis ka. Eh, pag nahiwala yan, eh, ang kapirbaan na lang nila, yun na lang mga OIC na yan. Mm -hmm. Yun na lang eh. And, uh, the autonomous region uh, yan. There will be less resistance ba? Is that... Uh, Is that a natural conclusion? If they're just OICs, they're more, they'll be more pliant uh, to the orders or instructions of Malacanang than una, elected uh, una una, officials? The civic one would be, before I appoint you OIC, you have to sign this. Mm, you have to accept this oh, condition. Would you agree you have more experience than we do? Well, tama si Jun doon because uh, OIC is uh, in that kind of uh, category. Mm -hmm. Oh, their uh, you know loyalty to Malacanang, the appointing power. That's right, that's right. But but the big but mm -hmm. here is this: Will the people of the autonomous region of Bosnia mm -hmm. Mindanao, Very by and large, right. who objected mm -hmm. to this uh, postponement mm -hmm. and also to the appointment of OICs, mm -hmm. uh, will remain just silent and fold their arms, or will they still continue, as they are continuing mm -hmm. with the Supreme Court and of course other measures, to make sure that elections must be held, mm -hmm. not uh, to be replaced by OICs who do not have mandate. Uh, I, I myself will not uh, recognize any of these OICs. We have How can I be, re yeah. be represented by or be governed by one who I have not elected? We have the last two minutes. Uh, yeah. My question is, so what happens uh, with the twisted arm now? Uh, yeah. Will there be spasms there, uh, uh, such as uh, maybe some uh, maybe uh, sporadic uh, uh, acts of resistance uh, to the OICs and so on. Uh, last uh, minute, two minutes uh, for both of you. Oh, okay. uh, uh, we, we'll go to June good, first, yeah, sure, and good. then we'll have the okay. uh, honor of concluding the discussion <laughs> uh, with uh, the governor. Okay. Eh, katatapos pa lamang po ng araw ng kalayaan, Independence Day. 30 seconds lang. Why have Ang tanong ko, tunay ba tayong malaya? Tunay mo, eh, nawawala nga yung kalayaan. The essence of democracy is these elections. Kaya yung kinakasin natin at our way, ano. Pangalawa ay, sino ba taga nadidikta sa atin? Mm. Ayaw mo ng tao, eh, bumaba tayo sa baba. Uh, they want elections. Eh, kanina ba taga tayo sumusunod? Meron ba nagdidikta sa atin? Mm. Yan lang aking tanong. Kung may nagdidikta, eh, hindi tayo malaya. Huwag na tayo magsiselebrate ng Independence Day sa susunod. Okay, Governor? Well, um, the sense of our people in the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao is to choose their leaders and to govern themselves. And this is along the constitutional provision and the enabling act of autonomy. And the first act of autonomy precisely is choosing, electing your officials that will govern you. How can this autonomy work in a learning curve mm -hmm. if right at the first step you appoint, them. You appoint people? That's right. Okay, and uh, so I have the last five seconds uh, only to say goodbye uh, and thank you. And of course to our guest, uh, Governor Al, will have more opportunities to discuss. There are other issues in Minana, of course. So this is just the beginning. Maraming salamat po and have a good week.